Hi, and welcome to Football Friday Night, Week 2 edition. I'll hand it off to Kayla Anderson in just a moment. But right now, I'm under center, and the scores are going to start scrolling below. We're starting with an east side rivalry that's been one-sided. Sabino has won the last 11 matchups with Saguaro. The home Sabercats trying to prevent the Cougars from cooking up an upset. Saguaro, though, says we are due for a win. Stephen Miller to Omar Lloyd. Full extension on the catch, and it sets up a Miller TD run to make it 7-0 Saguaro. Second quarter, Bailey Nottingham puts Sabino on the board with his 25-yard field goal, but Saguaro pulls off the upset 21-13. It is their first win over the Sabercats since 2003. Sabino with a rare ON2 start. All right, next up, Nogales at Tucson. Not on your sides, Kayla Anderson joins us from the newsroom. Kayla, these are a couple of teams trying to avoid 0-2 starts. Sure are, Jason. These teams combined for 107 points in last year's Badgers win. Let's head out to Tucson High School, where one team would get its first win of the season. First quarter, we pick it all up, and we're scoreless. The Apaches, Austin Jenkins goes to punt the ball, but the Badgers bat it down. Pete Rodriguez scoops it up, and he's going to take it in for the touchdown. And just like that, it's 7-0 Tucson. Later in the quarter, Jorge Flores now. The screen out to Robert Thomas, and he's impressive. Look at this. He keeps his balance, and he pushes on in for the score. Badgers up 14-0. They go on to win it. 23 to 7. We go to Miranda at Rincon where the fans always come out in big numbers. And guess what? The coaches, well, they're really stylish. Look at that camo hat right there. Love it. Fourth quarter, 14 6. Miranda Connor Levens, the fake handoff, airs it down the sideline, but picked off by the Rangers' Patrick Wilson. But they could not convert. Lots of penalties tonight on that field. Now Devin Johnson about to punt, but Manny Miranda blocks it. It goes airborne, and John Leon lands on it in the end zone. Touchdown, Miranda, 26 Tigers. Just four minutes to go, and Octavian Watkins finishes it off. He leaps into the end zone for the icing on the cake. Miranda wins it 26 to 6. And with that, Miranda does pick up its first win of the season while Rincon moves to 0-2. Jason? Thank you very much, Kayla. Meanwhile, Push Ridge Christian debuting a new field tonight and trying to do it and avenge the uh, only regular season loss that they had last year. It was at the hands of Joy Christian. Those two teams playing in front of a playoff-like atmosphere. Field looks good, huh? All right. Joy Christian. No score. They've got the football. The QB, though, sacked by Push Ridge's Connor Kleinsasser, and it's still scoreless after the first quarter. All right, second quarter now. Joy Christian's Matt Mitchell to Dewan Lawrence, and Lawrence with a physical catch in the end zone. It's a touchdown. Six nothing for Joy Christian. Push Ridge, though, trying to come back. Cody Croft kicked off. Andrew Dow with the interception, and Joy Christian wins. Final score in this one, 28 to 6. All right, let's head out to Palo Verde at Catalina. Full moon? Almost. Aaron, is that a full moon or almost? No, nope, almost. Not a full moon in that one. Catalina in blue getting fired up. Second half, 15 0. Catalina, RJ Villalobos. Damon Gaines. Gaines makes a move. He's in business there, deep inside Palo Verde Field. And it sets up R.J. Villalobos with a QB keeper, and he's gone. Catalina goes up 22-0, but it wasn't so easy. They have to hold on as Palo Verde come back, came back. 22-20 was the final score in this game. All right, let's head out to Vail for Mountain View at Sienega. Anybody like snow cones? I like the cherry ones, too. All right, first quarter, it's the Mountain Lions Justice Somerset. Instead of truth, justice, in the American way, it's justice, his football, and Mountain View's way. He takes it down to the two-yard line, and kind of looks like a fumble here, but uh, he was ruled down, so it's not, and sets up justice with a QB keeper, and he's in. 6 nothing Mountain View. Cienego, though, trying to answer. Adriel Alvarado, who's always in the highlights, always making something happen to Nico Abeta for the touch, uh, but Sienega, and they go on to win, do they? 27-24, the Bobcats defense stopping the Mountain Lions in the final drive. Let's stay in bail for Empire hosting Saurita. The Ravens taking the field for the second half, but they have a hill to climb. Yikes, down 34-0. Hey, the Mustangs are really good this year. Third quarter, after an Empire fumble, the Mustangs trying to tack on some more. It's Calvin Jenkins to Ryan Bell. 
and then sets up a Dylan Button touchdown, trying to shake off defenders like Taylor Swift is trying to shake off ex-boyfriends, or so my intern Chelsea tells me. Sorry, two wins, 55-0. They improve on the season to 3-0. Hey, Mustangs, like I said, they're really, really good this year. Where was Taylor Swift? Uh, I don't know. Would you, did you want to see her in the highlights? She was shaking off old boyfriends. <laughs> That's her new hot song, or hit song. Oh, okay. Shake it off. I understand that. Yeah.